All right, so this next one is a horror game. Um, yeah, that's I, I actually I didn't watch any of the trailer, but I wasn't sure what this was, and so I I opened up the video, and without watching it, I just I read the the description because I wish I wasn't sure if it was a movie or a video game, and you guys are gonna get that here in a second because the thumbnail doesn't reveal that to you. But let's check it out. We're watching the trailer for. Paranormal Tales, the extended body cam trailer. Okay, so this is coming to us from IGN. We're going to like the video. Paranormal Tales is a next-generation, well, next-gen horror game based on found footage inspired by the infamous PT and built in Unreal Engine 5. You experience and play through each tragic tale of those who went missing from the viewpoint of body cams, phones, and VHS cameras. Developers note that this is a pre alpha build and thus the visuals do not reflect the final quality of the game. Okay, so this is one of those games like Ellie and I watched the other day. Unrecord. This is not a video. This is completely rendered digitally in Unreal Engine 5. <laughs> that looks like that looks like video footage, right? It, it, it looks really, yeah, very yeah. crisp and look actual, actual like a real, like you're going inside a door or something like that. Yeah. So if you look right here, yeah. you can you can look at this door handle. I don't know. Something about the door handle is revealing it to me. I like. I just. I don't know. I. I just whatever. <laughs> I play. I play uh, video games constantly. So, and watch movies constantly. But yeah, you can kind of tell. The, curve, the curves look a little bit. Too, yeah, too much. Unnatural. But that's just me. Yeah, it looks good. I mean, I'm, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's let's check it out here. Here we go. Yeah, you can definitely kind of tell that that's that's. Okay, so this is definitely. Fuck. Video game. Oh, did you see it? Wait, did you see it? No, I didn't see it. Okay, just watch. Awful. I saw something interesting. I'll go back and show you. After it's over. And she didn't do the dishes. Okay. <laughs> there you go. What the heck? Lights out. Issues. Ooh! Oh. Why are you running the stairs? There you go. Okay, so it's like a found footage game. I've seen a couple of Okay, never mind. No, so I thought I thought that this was something here. I thought that that was a person. It's a picture. I thought that that was a monster or something up there. But it's a picture of 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 someone. So I was it like, "Oh, did you see?" Like yeah. Maybe they did that on purpose to make you like as you're playing the game, you're like, "Oh. Oh, I thought I saw something." Uh, let me just so I think that this looks great. So it does not look as realistic as Unrecord. But what did you think? Um, yeah, I, I've done I've done some games like this. This is pretty interesting and stuff. I mean, um, really cool graphics. I mean, uh, I'm sure someday it's going to be even more crisp than that, more realistic. But man, that is some really good graphics. It looks like it. I, it it left me hanging to wonder what what. Um, what it's all about. So they left a lot of mystery in it, but not so much that you, you wouldn't be interested in stuff. So, and, yeah. and f from the description, it looks like you're not playing a cohesive, like, yeah, right here. You're not playing like through a necessarily one story. It's multiple scenarios. And then you're watching each of them. So a self-contained, like it says right here, each file is a self-contained experience where you play through what happened to the people who have recorded these files. So you, your, yeah, you yourself are playing through, are playing through um, what was what these people did. So if you ever see Unrecord, go and watch. Go and watch after after we're done here. You know, I mean, you don't have to, but go and watch the Unrecord video. It was, it was, um, not last week. Yawning. The, 
Yeah, I know. It was the week before with Ellie and I, we watched it and it looks like it looks it looks even better than that. Like this, this you can tell. But I mean, Unrecord is a first person shooter that looks like it's video footage. And, it, and yeah, people are going nuts over it. But I think that the, I think that this is good. Oh, sorry. Go on. What were you going to say? No, no, no. I didn't. I wasn't going to say anything. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think that this looks this looks great, uh, especially if you're into oh. like the jump scare thing. It reminds me of that movie. Uh, there was a movie, I think it was called like Quarantine or something, where this guy gets stuck in a building and they there's like some virus. And basically uh -huh. what it is, it's like some kind of zombie virus or something. It's it does something to people, turns them into mon like just where they attack people. And if they bite you, you'll die and turn into one as well. I don't think it was necessarily zombies, maybe more rabies. But the whole movie is from the perspective of a cameraman and he uses it like he'll turn off his light and then use the night vision on his camera. So that way he can navigate and try to escape the monsters. And yeah, so that's what this reminds me of, especially the parts where like you see this where it's, he turn he does the same thing. He turns on a, he turns on like a night light or a, or a night vision. But let's check out the comments here, though. Oh, here, here's from the developers. Hello, all, all hello, all paranormal investigators. We just need the clown Pennywise. Yeah, Pennywise, and it would be really interesting. Yeah, uh, we're develop. We're the developers of the game. Thank you for watching our latest trailer. Everything you see in the video is a work in progress. The light, lighting, textures, model sound, and more will change and be vastly improved. We're a small indie team, which means development takes time. However, right now we're focusing on optimization and how far to push the body cam, found footage camera effects. Uh, while we're aiming for realism, we also want this to be an actual game, and we understand throwing up constant throwing up constantly due to motion sickness isn't very pleasant that said we will implement options for uh, the player can select to help ease motion sickness uh we're excited to get further into development and again this is a we're all a work in progress much more improved and change yeah um most horror games don't really get to me but this one does it's because the sound of thinking getting closer to you but you can't see it terrifying uh, yeah Man, this kind of game that will give you some freaking nightmares. <laughs> um, somehow the setting reminds me of Katie and Micah's house from the first Paranormal Activity film. Yeah. So it looks like a, people are... Yeah, right here. I don't know who is the worst. The devs trying so hard to use the unrecord hype to sell their game or IG and upload in the same trailer two or three times. See, that, that, that unrecord, you know. I don't think that that makes them bad. Mm -hmm. uh yeah the interactions and sound design are sick though hope for them the quality of the game is the, is at the level of their greediness so he's he's calling them out and saying that but apparently this was out before on record but even if it wasn't it's still that's that part of the comment is stupid but then he he admits yeah uh the interactions and the sound design are really good so there you go yeah 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 so now all your people are, uh, who watch this are going to sleep with their lights on at their house <laughs> there you go <laughs> yeah uh, i actually have my gun safe it's activated by my thumb it actually is right above my head so and i sleep away from the door my wife sweep, sleeps to my left and then the door is so she's between me and the door so i always figure what'll happen is if there's an intruder or a monster or something like that the door will open it'll start attacking her that'll give me time to reach for the gun <laughs> There's there's something wrong about that, but um, <laughs> using your wife as a buffer for intruders into your house. Well, if it no, but if they attack me, then we're both dead. If they attack her, at least I can get to the gun. I'm just kidding. I'm maybe, just kidding. Maybe just lock. Maybe just lock the door, or, or get simply safe in your house. <laughs> That's true. Simply safe. I love that. Uh, all right, guys. Let's let's move. Let's move forward with the next one here. Okay. Don't forget to check me out on Twitch and join the Discord where you can voice chat with me while a live stream and you won't be recorded or anything on YouTube and Twitch, so that's pretty cool. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram. If you like to read, you can see my after action reports on my blog. And if you are interested, you can get some merch from my spring store. The links for everything are in the description below.